Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right, guys, so we're about to get into all of it with the Lindsay Hubbard of it all, the Talin from Real Housewives of Dubai, and also some Cynthia Bailey and Peter Thomas. It does not stop. That's why we're over here on Up and Adam Channel 2 for all of the extra coverage, and I hope you guys are definitely partaking in the drama. Now, with that, I do want to let you guys know that I am doing my birthday, hosting my birthday on July 6th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It's a Saturday night, and I hope you guys can join us. We're going to be co-hosting it with very special Bravo Liberty guest, uh, Monica Garcia, and also Daisy from Below Deck Sailing Yacht. Plus, you're going to see a lot of familiar faces. So before we jump in, if you guys have not already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and uh, let's jump right in. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> let's get started. I don't even know where to start, but we're going to start here. So now, thank you to Reality Blurb. Lindsay Hubbard is explaining why she has not yet publicly confirmed her new boyfriend's identity. Now, before reacting to Danielle Oliveira's recent departure from the full-time cast of Summer House, she opened up about her secret romance with her mystery man, admitting that when it comes to keeping him away from the public eye, she's been impacted by her relationship and split from her ex-fiancé, Carl. When we started dating, I really wanted to maintain our privacy for as long as possible. Privacy. We needed to see how we felt about each other without the whole world chiming in with their opinions or judgments. And the only thing that truly matters is how we feel about each other at the end of the day. And I needed some space and time to kind of figure that out for myself. In addition to wanting to give their relationship time to grow without the interference of the public, Lindsay admitted that she'll well, probably still be getting over Carl's sudden cancellation of their November 2023 wedding. I've learned from my past mistakes and being too public with every step of my relationship. And after my last relationship ended in such a humiliating and very public way, I'm not exactly dying to open my current relationship up to the world just yet. He's never seen Summer House and probably never will. And I love that about him. And it's an even playing field with us. He is an incredible man and we have very sweet caring and loving you know like conversations and a relationship that i truly cherish so although Lindsay is not going public with her new man that's not to say that she doesn't have high hopes for their future but with that said she is in no rush to tie the knot i got rid of any and all timeliness considering all of my past relationships have blown up in my face and I'm really just enjoying my relationship as it naturally progresses and I'm not putting any pressure on the next steps until it feels right for the both of us but I hope it eventually does lead to a serious future with him but if it does not that's okay too and I've learned that the universe has its own plan for me so I'm just letting the universe guide me where it wants me to go. Now, also during the interview, Lindsay spoke of her decision to auction off three of her wedding dresses to Kleinfeld again to benefit the Chick Mission, which offers assistance to female cancer patients, including those who have experienced fertility challenges after treatment. She said, I knew I wanted to work with the charity on taking them off my hands and it felt important to me to turn an unfortunate situation into a positive outcome donating the proceeds of the dress sales to a charity that is important to me feels like a true win at the end and kleinfeld will be matching the money raised from my dresses so i couldn't have dreamt of a better outcome now in other southern summer house news lindsay recently reacted to danielle's exit from the show which she announced earlier this week and she said we love you dan girl we love you but in her statement to her fans and followers on Instagram on Monday, Danielle confirmed that she would not be seen in a full-time capacity on the upcoming season of the show, saying, Hello, my sweet loves. I wanted to share that I've come to the heartbreaking decision to not return as a full-time cast member on the upcoming season of Summer House. Obviously, this decision didn't come without a tremendous amount of thought. Ultimately, I just need to trust my gut. So if I can't put 100% of myself in filming genuinely and authentically. It really does not feel right doing it in a full-time capacity. And the network production, my cast, and especially all of you deserve that. 
So right now I need to protect and prioritize things that matter most to me, my company, my people, and of course, myself. Yeah. Well, doesn't stop there. Oh, no. It keeps going. Real Housewives of Dubai, Talene Oif. Oif. Now, as you guys know, Talene appeared on Tuesday night's episode of Watch What Happens Live, where she commented on Caroline Stanberry's treatment of her husband, Sergio Carello. And we love Caroline, we love Talene, and we love Sergio. So this is kind of a tough spot. But after the couple was seen in a heated debate on the latest episode of The Real Housewives of Dubai, Talene was asked about Stanberry and Sergio arguing in front of her best friend, Michael Davis, who they were living with at the time, as she also shaded Caroline Brooks and revealed their friendship, her friendship, with Jennifer Aiden. Stanberry abuses Sergio a little bit. She definitely wears the pants, and I didn't like it. Michael is such a sweetheart for letting them stay there, and it was cringe. I didn't like it. But Talene also felt that Stanberry's kids have been too hard on Sergio. She said it's a bit much. Then when asked if she gives Stanberry and Sergio's marriage more or less than 15 years, she joked Stanberry will be dead by then, though. Now moving on to her drama with Stanberry and Brooks. Oh, Talene felt that Brooks had made a bigger deal about Stanberry's comments about Sergio being Talene's, well, seeing at least Talene's hoo-ha when she fell down at the concert in an effort to turn them against one another. But she said, I was hurt when I heard the comment because that was brought to me. It was brought to me the way it was. It, it kind of sounded like she was really trying to ruin my reputation and Brooks had brought that to me and I was even hurt. I cried. I was upset. But once I got to know Stanbury, it's the British banter. And it realized, you know, I realized that she was just taking the piss. Um, yeah. Talene explained, adding that she was more impacted by the comment since it was made at the time than she is now because it was, she was not present. She said definitely 100%. But now that I know Stanbury so well, I know that it was in a joking way. It was like the telephone game, right? It's like the way it's brought to you. And it was spun very different. I kind of feel like it was a bit of a pawn in Brooks game. But later on the Watch What Happens Live episode, Talene looked back on her experience at BravoCon reflecting on being unknown at the time and naming Sonya Morgan as her favorite run-in. I kind of feel like being the new cast member because it was like, our season hadn't been released yet. I kind of got both sides of it. I got the red carpet, but also nobody knew who the hell I was. Best person I met, Sonya Morgan, was just my spirit animal, and she's such a freaking icon, and I loved her. But worst God, no. Um, everybody was really nice. I really can't shade anybody on that. But as for her friendship with Jennifer, Talene said that they've been having dinner this week and noted that People have said that they look alike. I'm having dinner with her this week in New York, and everyone says we look identical. Hopefully, I look like a younger version of her because I am younger, but I'm a New Jersey fan, and I'm an East Coaster, and at the end of the day, I love Teresa and Melissa. I love all of them, so that's kind of where I'm at. Well, I want to know what you guys think, especially because I think that's a great way to put it. And I also thought that they looked alike. And I didn't know that other people were saying that. And I also don't know if Talin is Turkish because obviously we know that Jennifer Aiden is Turkish. So there's a lot of moving parts here, a lot to talk about, lots to discuss. But before we get into all of that, I want you guys to give me your full on opinion. So by doing so... All you have to do is pop off in the comment section. If you have not already smashed that like button, go ahead and smash that. If you're not subscribed to Up and Adam channel too, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time. Love you guys.